confident in your skills and what you bring to the table. Women often underestimate their abilities, and this can lead to less recognition, opportunities, or even promotions. So be confident by speaking up in your meetings, sharing your vision on a new project, and asking for tasks that match your skill level. I know that is easier said than done, especially if you're a minority, but it is very important to do so. Be confident in your work, not only for yourself, but also to inspire other women around you to do the same. It is work in, only in working hard that we can challenge anything, whether it is gender bias or discriminate, discriminatory remarks. The work that we do, if it is up to par with everybody else, everybody else meaning don't have to be male or female, but if your work is up to par with everything that is known out there, and if you talk about the work that you have, it is only in doing good work that you can actually talk about it. And talking about it means getting yourself out there in the stage and you set the light on you. And that is how you challenge anything and everything. To be a woman in science and part of a group that contains so many women scientists and even has a female as, a, as one of our head scientists. I challenge gender bias by recognizing each of my coworkers as brilliant, creative, critical thinkers and worthy of being here. Growing up, I didn't know any female scientists personally, so seeing Deng lead our project, um, as well as other team leaders that were female, helped me have the confidence to know that I could be a leader as well. To challenge gender biases by calling it out when it happens in our day-to-day -day interactions and conversations. Make people aware of their unconscious biases that we all have. Bring the unconscious conscious. We can challenge gender biases by amplifying the voices of females and gender minorities. We rise by lifting each other and increasing the diversity of voices that are heard in science. There are networks like 500 Women Scientists that connect females in STEM across the world. And you can request a professional to give a presentation, participate in a panel to avoid things like mantles, or find a mentor in a discipline that you're interested in. We need everyone to be aware of the biases and barriers that exist for females and gender minorities in STEM in order to create an equitable scientific community. In order to challenge gender biases, it's key for women in science to push for an open and secure environment where we can talk freely and share our concerns without fear. This is one of the multiple actions to find solutions and be respected. I believe that women in science challenge gender biases on a regular basis. For example, by actively collaborating and connecting with other women scientists, we can coordinate a uh, diverse uh, network system and this support system creates a con community of assistance, guidance and encouragement uh, for women, especially beneficial for women in the STEM fields. In addition, I think that by speaking to senior colleagues who are women, this can provide the younger generations an opportunity to discuss their career plans and to follow their elderly allies as a mentor. Uh, I think it's very important to speak out about our own experiences, to call out gender discrimination, and to confront these gender stereotypes. I believe women in science can challenge gender biases by supporting and creating safe spaces for each other. I am very fortunate to be practicing fishery sciences while pursuing graduate studies in public policy and global affairs. These skill sets afford me the unique opportunity to work at the intersection of these two fields. So not only can I challenge gender biases and inequity in sciences, but I hope to influence policy in the same way once I graduate. I'm Maria Donahue and I choose to challenge. I am Deng Palomares and I choose to challenge. My name is Brittany and I choose to challenge. My name is Elaine and I choose to challenge. My name is Rebecca Skynes and I choose to challenge. I am Veronica Relaño and I choose to challenge. My name is Sydney Baxter and I choose to challenge. My name is Tiffany and I choose to challenge. My name is Jessica Warniak and I choose to challenge. <laughs>